Dear students, welcome to our final revision episode. Choose the correct answer. The motion of what is an example of oscillatory motion? A train, ocean wave, spinning top toy, a swing. A swing. The motion of a pendulum is an example of which type of motion? Transition, periodic, oscillatory, or wave? The answer is oscillatory. Maximum displacement achieved by an oscillating body away from its point of rest is called complete oscillation, periodic time, amplitude, or frequency. It's amplitude. If a simple pendulum takes 0.2 seconds, forming one amplitude, its periodic time is equal to 1.2 second, 0.8 second, 0.4 second, 0.2 second. It's 0.8 second. If an oscillating body makes 600 complete oscillations in one minute, the frequency is equal to 0.1 hertz, 0.6 hertz, 6 hertz, 10 hertz, 10 hertz. The speed of light in different media is less than, equal to, or more than its speed in vacuum. It's less than. What waves are composed of compressions and rarefactions? Sound, light, radio, ultraviolet rays. Sound. If the vertical distance between the crest and the trough of a wave is 10 cm, the amplitude is equal to 2.5 cm, 5 cm, 10 cm, 20 cm. It's 5 cm. The horizontal distance between consecutive crests and troughs of a wave is equal to one-fourth the wavelength, half the wavelength, equal to the wavelength, double the wavelength. It's equal to half the wavelength. The speed of light is the maximum in air, water, wood, vacuum. It's wood. An oscillating body makes 300 complete oscillations in 0.5 minutes. Calculate the periodic time and the frequency. We will convert the time to seconds. So half, which is 0.5 minutes times 60, equal 30 seconds. The periodic time is equal to the time divided by the number of complete oscillations. The periodic time equal to 30 divided by 300, it will give us 0 0.1 second. The frequency is 1 divided by the periodic time. 1 divided by 0 0.1, it will give us 10 hertz. Now give reason 4. The periodic motion of the clock hands is not an oscillatory motion. This is because the clock hands do not move repeatedly along a point of rest. The sound waves are mechanical waves, while the radio waves are electromagnetic waves. This is because sound waves require a medium to propagate in, while radio waves can travel in vacuum. If the distance between the center of compression and the center of rarefaction in a longitudinal wave is equal to 50 cm, then calculate the wavelength and the velocity of propagation if the frequency is 60 Hz. We all know that wavelength is equal to 2 times the distance between the center of compression and the center of rarefaction. So 2 times 50 equals to 100 centimeter, equals to one meter. 
velocity equal frequency times wavelength. So 60 times 1 equals 60 meter per second. Now write the scientific term. It's an external stimulus that affects the ear and causes hearing. This is sound. It is a fundamental tone associated with other harmonic tones, higher in pitch and lower in intensity. This is complex tone. It is the property by which the ear can distinguish between different sounds according to the nature of the source, even they were of the same pitch and intensity. Sound quality. Waves with frequency more than 20 kilohertz. Ultrasonic waves. Sound intensity at a point is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the source of the sound and that point. This is the inverse square law of the sound. Packets or quanta of energy of light waves. Photons. It is the amount of light incident normally onto a unit area of a surface in one second. This is light intensity. The light changes its path when it travels from a transparent medium to another transparent medium due to different optical densities of media. This is light refraction. It is the ratio between the speed of light in air to that in another transparent medium. This is absolute refractive index. The light rays reflect in different directions when they fall on a rough surface. This is irregular light reflection. During light reflection, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This is the first law of light reflection. The angle between the incident ray and the normal. Angle of incidence. Thank you. Dear students, thank you for watching and see you later in other science episodes.